When we look at the history of the Gupta Empire, one of the great books on this is Sri Ram Goyal's A History of the Imperial Guptas. In this book, Sri Ram Goyal has talked about a great deal on Chandragupta II. He describes Chandragupta II as an able and energetic ruler. But Sri Ram Goyal also believes that Chandragupta II committed a mistake that led to the decline of the Gupta Empire. Sri Ram Goyal argues that when you look at the history of the Guptas, we see that it was during the reign of Samudragupta that the policy of expansion began. Now, this policy of expansion which began during the reign of Samudragupta did not reach its logical conclusion during the reign of Chandragupta II. Now, this logical conclusion, according to Sri Ram Goel, was the conquest of Indus Basin. So, basically, the northwestern part of the Indian subcontinent. Sri Ram Goel believes that the fact that Chandragupta II did not conquer the Indus Basin was his greatest mistake. And this mistake cost dearly Skandagupta and later successors of him who came. And it was because of this mistake we see that the Huns were able to invade India and they eventually destroyed the Gupta Empire. Sri Ram Goel believes that Chandragupta II was a capable monarch and he had the resources to conquer the Indus Basin. But in his long reign of some 30 years, he did not made any serious attempts to conquer this region. And it was this mistake that led to the Hunnic invasion. And what we can also say that it was his inability to conquer this region that allowed the Huns to invade the Gangetic Plains. So if we take his argument, he is basically suggesting that suppose Chandragupta II was able to conquer the Indus Basin, this would have allowed the Gupta Empire to secure their core of the empire, which was the Gangetic Plains. So this in Sri Ram Goel's view was the greatest mistake that Chandragupta II committed. Now, I believe that in his book, Sri Ram Goel has unfairly criticized Chandragupta II. I believe that Chandragupta II was not in a position to conquer the Indus Basin. So in this video, we will talk about what were the reasons behind Chandragupta II's inability to conquer the Indus Basin. So to understand why Chandragupta II was not able to conquer the Indus Basin, we have to first look at Chandragupta II's reign. So what we see is that when Chandragupta II became the Gupta ruler, he had to face great difficulties. And in one, we find that Chandragupta II, soon after ascending the Gupta throne, had to fight a civil war with his elder brother Ramgupta. And in another, another we see that Chandragupta II had to quell a revolt that happened in the Vanga country. Now, this was the struggle he had to face in the initial part of his reign. Now, what we find is that after overcoming these difficulty, Chandragupta II started preparing for an ambitious campaign to conquer the Shakas who were ruling the Gujarat region. To prepare for this campaign, we see that at one time, Chandragupta II had to make an expedition in the Hindu Kush region. And in another, we see that Chandragupta II had to form a matrimonial alliance with the Vakatakas. Now, all of this preparation meant that it was only in the second half of his reign that this campaign against the Shakas truly began. And to conquer the Shakas completely, it took all of the remaining years of Chandragupta II's reign. Now, there are some scholars who believe that even during the end of Chandragupta II's reign, he was not able to completely conquer the Shaka region. So if that is the case, what we see is that Chandragupta II in his reign of 30 years did not have any significant time to devote in the conquest of Indus Valley. Now, when we look at Samudragupta's reign, what we see is that Samudragupta, as far as our evidence suggests, did not make any serious attempt to conquer the Indus Basin. So if that is the case, what we see is that when Chandragupta II ascended the Gupta throne, he had two options. He could conquer the Western Kshatras who were ruling the Gujarat region or he could conquer the Indus Basin. Now, we all know that Chandragupta II chose the former option. Now, 
द रीजन वाई चंद्रगुप्त सेकेंड चोज द फॉर्मर ऑप्शन इज प्रटी क्लियर द रीजन ऑफ गुजरात वॉज द सेंटर ऑफ ओवरलैंड ट्रेड एंड इट वॉज क्वाइट रिच सो इट मेड सेंस फॉर चंद्रगुप्त सेकेंड टू कॉन्कर दिस रीजन नाउ इन द कॉन्क्वेस्ट ऑफ द वेस्टर्न क्षत्र रीजन वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट इट टू क्वाइट ए लॉन्ग टाइम एंड ऑल्सो लार्ज नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्सेज सो हाउ कूड वी अज्यूम दैट चंद्रगुप्त सेकेंड कूड ऑल्सो डिवोट सम टाइम टू द कॉन्क्वेस्ट ऑफ इंडस बेसिन नाउ वी कैन ऑल्सो अज्यूम दैट द कॉन्क्वेस्ट ऑफ इंडस बेसिन वॉज नॉट ऑल्सो दैट ईजी इफ इट्स इट वॉज दैट ईजी समुद्रगुप्त हुड हैव ऑल्सो कॉन्कर्ड द इंडस बेसिन बट ही डिड नॉट डू सो सो द कॉन्क्वेस्ट ऑफ इंडस बेसिन वुड हैव इन्वॉल्व ग्रेट नंबर ऑफ चैलेंजेस एंड ऑल्सो लार्ज नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्सेज ऑफ द गुप्ता एम्पायर नाउ चंद्रगुप्त सेकेंड ड्यूरिंग दिस पार्ट ऑफ हिज रेन वॉज नॉट इन ए पोजिशन टू डिवोट एनफ रिसोर्सेज टू ए कैंपेन इन द इंडस बेसिन ही वॉज ऑलरेडी इन्वॉल्व इन ए कैंपेन इन द गुजरात रीजन सो आई थिंक इट इज क्वाइट अनफेयर ऑफ अस टू अज्यूम दैट ए गुप्ता एम्पर हु हैज फाइनाइट रिसोर्सेज to conquer every part of the indian subcontinent now even though chandragupt second was aware of the fact that the conquest of indus basin was necessary for the security of the gupta empire he could not do anything about it he was already engaged in a serious campaign in the gujarat region and he had no significant resources left to conquer the indus basin as well and it is these types of political scenarios which we have to keep in mind when we talk about mistakes of any ruler whether it is chandragupta second or any other ruler no sane ruler would say no to new conquest provided he could gain materially and politically from this conquest even if chandragupta second wanted to extend his empire in the northwest the political situation was such that there was no possibility of him conquering this region he could either secure western india or start a new campaign in the northwest whose result would not be certain for chandragupta second the decision was simple establishing gupta rule firmly in western india not only extended its territory but also increased gupta treasury so as students of history we have to take into account limitations that these rulers faced these rulers lived in a world like ours which did not have unlimited resources they have to take lot of things under consideration and this required some compromises so this should be kept in mind now if you want to know more about the gupta history please watch this playlist thank you for watching